The following is a presentation of TFNN. Let's go to uh, Ilka in uh, Boston. Ilka, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Steve, seriously, you guys are unbelievable. You are doing wonders for all the traders. Well, thanks. We appreciate that. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Morning from TFNN. Welcome to the October 13th. Magnificent Monday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes. Steve Perseverance Rhodes, and I believe it isn't the mountain ahead of us that will wear us out, but instead it is that pebble that is in our shoe. So let's you and I, let's do everything we can to get rid of that pebble, especially on a day like today. It is Magical Monday, and one of the best ways we can do this is to remember that the power of words is immense. You know, a well-chosen word has often stopped the fleeing of an army. It has changed defeat into victory. So today I'll do everything I can to choose my words wisely and go looking for the enemies. Go looking for the bulls and the bears out there. Maybe the armies, I should say, instead of the enemies. And hey, speaking of words, I'd love to hear from you. That means all you got to do is pick up that phone, dial me at 877-927-6648. Internationally, that number is 727-445-1044. Then together, you and I, we can go on a safari together looking for those bulls and those bears. It is Magnificent Monday. This is TFNN. I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to the show. Right now, we got Dow Futures. They're trading up 33 points, trading out at 16,470. We've got the S&P futures. They're trading out at 1,900.50, up six points. NASDAQ futures up five. They're trading at 3,858. Russell 2,000 up about three points, trading at 10,51. King dollar back about uh, 40 cents right now, trading out at 86.35. Big moves in the euro, big moves in the yen. We'll take a look at the moves in the pound. How about Goldilocks? She's trading up seven bucks, trading out at twelve twenty-eight. Silver's up seven pennies at seventeen thirty-seven. Light sweet crude struggling as it has in the past, down a buck thirty right now, trading out at eighty-four fifty. If we take a quick peek across the globe out here, let's go see what we've got going on over in Europe this morning. Here we got the DAX. DAX right now trading up fifty-two points, up six tenths of a percent. DAX here. Let's take a look at the DAX chart. Let's just start off by taking a look at what's going on around the world out here. Green candle. Uh, open up, gap down this morning. It's been fighting that off. That's not a bullish uh, reversal signal. In order for the uh, DAX to start getting, uh, well, let's take a look at what the DAX has done. First, we've got A to B equals CD pattern here that is completed. Your A point was the high at the top of this consolidation box right around June 20th. The low is down here. At, was right at uh, at about or below the consolidation back on August the 8th. That's your B point, your C point out here on September the 19th. 1 to 1, A to B equals C D. Exact number on that was 87.43. We actually saw the gap, the gap. We actually saw the DAX gap down this morning. It's open was at 87.03 versus 87.43. You're back above that number. In order for the DAX to really get back into bullish formation out here, it needs to get back above, in my opinion, about the 89.84 level. If it does that, it says the break to the downside was a false break. However, if it runs into resistance up at that 89.84 level, uh, that's what happens when you see a consolidation pattern get broken. In this case here, sideways consolidation pattern. And therefore, that says you've got 1,067 points to the downside. So if the DAX does not get above 89.84, and I don't mean 89.85, but if it doesn't get above that level, the DAX is looking at a 1,000-point move to the downside. You might want to take a look at an ETF to play that to the short side. Likewise, if it gets back inside the range, it's a thousand point move to the upside if, in fact, the DAX goes back and tests its highs out there. That's what's going on with the DAX. If we take a look at the FTSE over in the UK, up about four tenths of a percent, up 27 bucks right now. The FTSE also off of its highs. No real A to B equals CD pattern here for us to uh, focus on or take a look at. What we want to focus on inside the FTSE is this 430 point consolidation. That says the FTSE needs to get back up above 6436 in order to say that its break on Friday was a false break to the downside. 
downside. If it just tests 6435, does it for a couple of days out there, rejects it, starts to move lower, you're looking at 431 points to the downside. At this stage of the game, uh, what we have is a price relative strength divergent pattern inside the FTSE. And you almost have a hammer candle, but I think the body of this candle is just simply too large. So you're not going to get a hammer reversal signal today. It doesn't look like that to me. Nah, it's, it's definitely not a hammer candle out there. Uh, however, if you got back about 643599 out there today, and I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, you would have one heck of a key reversal session inside of the uh, FTSE. A quick peek in on the uh, Nikkei off about 178 points here last night. Was it open last night? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it most certainly was. However, if we take a look at this, this is a 2,200-point consolidation. Let's just look at the retracement from its low out here on August the 8th to the high out here on about uh, September 24th. You know, it's uh, in between the 0.618, uh, level out here. Uh, the the, uh, the Nikkei has not fallen apart by any stretch of the imagination out here. It has not even challenged its August 8th low. Just trying to keep that in um, comparison to the U.S. markets out here. So the Nikkei pretty strong out there. If we were to see a bounce, Nikkei might be something that you would want to uh, consider. Let's look at the Shanghai out here. Off nine points last night. Any big deal inside the uh, Shanghai? Absolutely, positively not. Pretty nice-looking candle. Not enough of a uh, downtrend uh, over the last couple days to show that as a uh, as a uh, hammer candle. Certainly a doji out there, but otherwise uh, no real problems inside of the uh, Shanghai. Let's finish this off. Let's take a look at the uh, Hang Seng up 54 points, up a quarter of a percent out here. Inside of the uh, Hang Seng out here, what we'll see is this nice little rising price channel. That it has not broken. This is taking us back into the time frame here of June of 2013. So this doesn't look too, too bad out here. A little different story inside our markets. Let's go take a look at our markets. Let's take a look at them a couple different ways out here. Let's start off by taking a look at, let's take a look at the weakness out here. Absolute weakness has been inside the Russell 2000. Now, what the Russell 2000 did here as it opened uh, last night, and what we've got going on here as we speak right now is, do you have a key reversal? I don't know. Did we get below late? yesterday's low, 1030, now yeah, Friday's low, 1038. 60 this morning we got down to 10 yeah, 10:38.60. so you got a key reversal session already going on inside of the uh inside of the uh russell 2000 but the russell 2000 it's got some problems it needs to get back above the uh, low from uh, february 5th in my opinion that low out there is 10.78 you get back above 10.78 and then what we can say is okay the break of the consolidation would be a false break to the downside. Otherwise, you're looking at a 130-point move to the downside. In essence, what the uh, Russell 2000 here has done today, it's made a 1.272 butterfly pattern, and you're seeing a reversal signal. We'll see how the day plays out here, but that is what you like to see when you complete any pattern. You want to you see the sign of the army here, and, and that's what we really do. That's why those words, bullish and golfing, key reversal session, hammer candle, like what you want to do is you want to use candlesticks out there as your signals, but you, you want to learn how to use them. So many people do not use them properly, yet they have so much meaning. Excuse me. While I take just a little bit of uh, liquid to uh, get that throat all, uh, all in good shape out there. Let's take a look at the uh, Dow. Dow, well, off of its session lows here. Last night got down to uh, 16,334. So far, we've seen a high of 16,488. That's a, a pretty big move. I, I, uh, Wrote about it this morning in this morning's newsletter. Fairly decent. What the uh, what the Dow futures here have done a little bit different than the actual Dow index. But if we take a look at the Dow futures, that August 18th swing point high 16,398. What we saw here this morning was a test of that level. So you've got a test of that uh, swing point. We've got a rejection. I'd have to go back and take a look at the September contract to see what the volume was back there. I've got the December contract up on my screen. Nonetheless, at this stage, no reversal signal. You could get a hammer if we just closed uh, maybe just a few ticks higher. But we got a lot of time left in the trading session. That is likely not to be the case. If we do see some kind of... Uh, Nice bounce here. Areas of uh, resistance that we should be looking at. Well, why don't we can take a look at the TAS market profile low. So 16.813, that would be a number to look at. Let's take a look at uh, retracements from low, for, for, I should say from high to low out here. Uh, your dead cat bounce, 16.694. Certainly that's an area that you'd be paying attention to. 16.918 would most likely be the spot where you'd be looking for at least a bounce inside of the uh, Dow. You're trading at 16 472 and yes i said 16925 so that's going to seem like that the uh, that the uh, sky is done falling and it may be 
that the sky is done falling in. Now, 16918, if I go ahead and I get rid of the uh, retracement uh, out here, what's pretty nice about the uh, that 16918 level is at 16925, what you've got is you've got the uh, point of control out there for the uh, Dow futures. So you'd have to say on any kind of significant bounce, that is where price will likely head to that is inside the uh, Dow futures look just to make sure no matter which side of the trade you are on you do the only thing that you can control and that is use a stop out there I know I got emails out from uh, different folks uh, between Friday Saturday Sunday out there and even though they didn't say I would have to say the commonality that would appear to me uh, amongst many of those emails is that uh, folks just simply aren't using stops out there. So, uh, and be you know, let me make sure that I'm very specific. I am still looking for a significant bottom. It doesn't mean that I said go long the market. That doesn't mean that I said take stops off of your long positions. I would never, ever, ever say that. So please, you've got to use stops. Look, one of the best ways, one of the easiest ways to identify a stop, you, number one, you can go look for a swing point because that's where price, that's where we usually use our measuring sticks, right, for retracement. So we look at swing points. Swing points are areas of targets where price will head to. We just saw that when we took a look at the Dow futures out here. So that's an area. You can also take a look at the average true range. I like to take the last 10 trading sessions from high to low. Make sure you account for gaps out there. Just simply divide that by 10. And uh, you can use that multiply, uh, you know, some Fibonacci expansion number of that. 1.618 is what I would recommend, 1.272. But just use a stop. You must get used to always using the stop. Every trade that you get into, and this is not be getting on my soapbox, but it's, it's just a matter of fact. If you want to play this game, that's really what it is. If you want to play this game, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have both sides of the trade bracketed. It is not complicated. It's a one cancel the other type order that you're going to go ahead and place inside your system. So please, please, I implore you to go ahead and use stops. Let's take a look at the uh, NASDAQ out here. What do we got inside the NASDAQ? Well, the NASDAQ futures here getting down, almost testing the bottom of August 8th out there, that low at 38.1975. As we speak right now, that is a hammer candle. We got a lot of time left in the trading session. Where is it that the uh, NASDAQ composite could uh, bounce to out here? Well, the bounce in some, because it's made 100% move of a move out here. Well, the bounce is uh, 3937. 4,006 would most likely be the uh, target, you'd have to say, <clears throat> because that's your 0.618 retracement level. You'd have to say uh, any kind of bounce, I'd say that 4,027 would be pretty decent resistance inside of the uh, daily chart of the uh, NASDAQ. Let's go ahead and round this off. Let's take a look at the S&P futures out here. What are the S&P futures? They actually did test the low of August the 8th earlier this morning. They've had a pretty decent bounce since then. Area of uh, of resistance here, 1933, that'd be your first target, 33 points up. I'd have to say, excuse me, 1962 would more likely be the target for a nice, healthy bounce inside of the S&P. This is Steve Rhodes. This is TFNN. Give us a call, folks. Our number is 877-927-6648. It is Magical Monday. Thanks so much for being here. We'll be right back. trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter market insights Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the Dow Nasdaq and S&P plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Terrell Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Steve takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 927 6648. Traditionally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow futures up about seventeen right now. S and P up uh, four. Let's go check in on. Uh, let's go check in on the Goldilocks the currencies as well. Let's start off with the uh, currency pairs. Let's go take a look at the uh, euro. Uh, euro having a, a nice move here this morning. If we take a look at what the uh, euro has done now, if we take a look at uh, this is a daily chart that we're taking a look at inside of the uh, euro. Nice little, um, you know, big piercing candle that took place here on October the uh, sixth. That was a, a bullish reversal signal. A little bit of follow through here, uh, the very next uh, trading session. Let me pull this back out here. Let me get rid of this uh, retracement that I've got out here so I can draw that uh, a little bit differently. So let's go take a look at what the euro has done. It's now moved out uh, from a daily standpoint. It's moved out of its uh, moved out of its uh, oversold condition out here. If we take a look at uh, possible uh, trends, let me uh, give me give me a trend line out here off of the high. What I'm using is uh, May eighth as our as our trend so here is i draw just simply a line not a channel line but just simply a trend line looks like that is probably where the euro ought to run into some resistance now that's a pretty healthy bounce inside of the uh, currency pair if we go from the swing point high to the low out here what we'll see is the dead cat bounce of 0 0.382 just a normal re that's not even so-called normal that's but but we'll call it the first normal retracement 1.307 
We see a nice move up to that level inside of the uh, euro and right around that area is where it should run into that, that trend line out there. If it breaks through that trend line, then you're looking at 1.3426. Either one of those is going to put some uh, significant weakness inside of the U.S. dollar index out here. So when we take a look at the uh, euro, at this stage of the game here, the uh, selling to the downside, in fact, if we blow this up just a bit more, we take a look at, let's do that, and we take a look at retracements from since it's uh, low out here from a few days ago. Let's take a look and see what kind of retracements we have. So from the low to the high out here on the trading session of October the 19th, he made a nice 0.618 retracement. So it looks to me like what we've also got setting up here inside of the euro is its first A to B equals CD to the upside. If, in fact, that's the case, the A point's going to be the low from October 3rd. Your B point's going to be out here on October the 9th. Your C point's going to be the October 10th level. 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. That's going to take you into the uh, one point. Uh, 1.29 uh, level, 1.2898 to, to be exact out here. Uh, that's your 1 to 1. 1 to 1.272 1 takes us into about 1.2974. So it looks like that is the pattern that is unfolding inside of the euro. Of course, you want to be paying attention to what's going, inside, going on inside of the uh, currency markets because their impact that they've got, whether it's in commodities or in the uh, market itself. If we take a look at the euro, Japanese yen, uh, this currency pair is the one that uh, directionally correlates to the U.S. Uh, stock market out here. What we can see here inside the uh, euro, Japanese yen, it made its way back into that September 8th swing point. It's made a 100% move of a move. Perhaps this also is going to do a retracement, any kind of move upside, directionally speaking, should uh, flow well for the uh, counter trend rally or overall rally because of a potential bottom that was put in last week. We'll take things one day at a time. If we take a look at the Japanese yen out here, it's trading out at 107.27 or so. We know about the Japanese yen. It made that 1 to 2A to B equals CD to the upside. Gave you a key reversal session. On October the 1st, that level has held as resistance. Now we're seeing just a natural retracement. The uh, movement lower inside this currency pair puts strength inside the yen, weakness inside the dollar. You can see it's almost back to the 0.382 retracement level. 106.81 is that number out here. But more likely, what we're going to see is a pullback to about 104.78. All of these, well, we haven't looked at the Great British Pound. Let's go take a look at that. But between the yen and the uh, euro U.S. dollar, let's take a look at the uh, pound. The pound as well looks very much like the uh, euro out here. So this could be forming its A to B equals CD to the upside. Uh, let's take a look at a, a trend line inside of the uh, pound. What I would do is I would use the high from the trading session of uh, July 15th, and I would just simply use a high of the trading session that came in on September the 19th. So we'll see if the uh, pound can break that uh, trend out there. But it does look like an A to B equals CD to the upside is forming inside of this currency pair. Uh, that A to B equals CD takes you right up into that uh, trend line. This currency pair moves higher. The U.S. dollar index would also get weaker out there. And that says that uh, Goldilocks, that's uh, silver, ought to move topside. So far, we've got the silver trade out at 12.28. It's up seven bucks. Still, our Goldilocks is trying to take out a swing point to form an A to B equals C to the upside. If it does that, if it closes above the October 9th high out here at 12.34, you're going to have a very powerful A to B equals C D to the upside. One to one, forget it. You can set it and forget it. Most likely, you'd see a move in Goldilocks to 1282, then 1299, and then finally 1319. That is where Goldilocks wants to go head to. We'll be right back, folks. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization 
optimization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you, like it does me, call Call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. To the races. We got the dial up four points, straight out of 16, 547. SP up two, uh, composite up uh, seven points, Russell up about three, uh, DAX up 52, D Footsies up 37, gold up seven bucks, silver up seven pennies as we speak right now, leading the charge to the upside. Um, let's see if I can pronounce this. Almy Lamb, I probably can't really. A L N Y is the ticker symbol out here. Up twelve percent, up eight dollars and fifty cents. Atlas Energy, I can't pronounce that. That's up twenty percent this morning. Atlas has got the world on its shoulders out there. Vertex Pharmaceuticals up four percent, up four seventy. Rand Gold Resources leading the charge out here. Dollar wise, up about three seventy, up five percent. C S X Corp up about twelve percent this morning. Baidu up one percent. Google up about a half a percent as we speak. Uh, you've got uh, Lakeland Industries. 
Industries. I finally did figure out what Lakeland Industries was. Uh, L-A-K-E is the uh, ticker symbol. That is a hazmat uh, company out there. So with the Ebola scare, you got a lot of folks uh, that have uh, pumped into Lakeland Industries. Last time that this stock was back, the last time that this stock had a uh, performance like it has here recently was when we had the... Uh, what was that? Bird flu. That's right. Bird flu. Many years ago, that stock had uh, shot up. Uh, and then, of course, after that whole thing went off to the uh, off to the side, there wasn't a lot of uh, there wasn't a lot of energy inside of uh, of uh, staying with uh, hazmat suits inside Lakeland Industries. So, if you are inside that equity, just be aware of the uh, patterns of the uh, past out there. Leading the charge here to the downside, we've got Lithium Motors. That's off 18 percent this morning, down 14 bucks. We'll certainly check in on uh, that. We've got Shutterfly. SFLY that's down nine percent off four bucks. GoPro down two sixty. Uh, Amazon's up a buck nineteen. Costco strong looking. The stock chart out here off a buck fourteen this morning. Palo Alto Networks. Uh, she's off about uh, ninety cents out here. Seagate Technologies down a buck fourteen. How about that chip sector? Did that thing get whacked or so on uh, Friday? That truly got whacked out here. So let's go uh, take a look at some of these equities here that are popping and uh, dropping. Uh, let's take a look at this ticker symbol, A-L-N-Y. Let me see. Yeah, I don't see any news necessarily behind it other than something released on a, a Phase 2 trial out here. So let's go see what it's actually doing. So taking it, uh, getting above a swing point this morning. Uh, the volume, the swing from October the 6th at 963,000 shares. You've already done 511. So you now have a confirmed A to B equals CD, the upside, the small A to B equals CD pattern inside of this equity. Ought to take it to a, a price level of approximately... Come on. Uh, I'd say 9476. Uh 9476 to uh, 100.73. You're trading at 8191 as we speak. Needs to close above that price point of 8074. It's got the volume to do it. We'll see if it has the uh, price at the end of the uh, trading session. You've got uh, Canadian Pacific uh, Realty out here. CP is the uh, ticker symbol. That's up uh, 5% this morning, up $9.84 out here. This had a hard day on uh, Friday. Uh, this completed its 1 to 1A to B equals CD and then uh, went ahead and backed off. It's got some pretty decent volume out here on Friday down at the uh, lows. Um, you know, run a, might run into resistance here at about the 203.90 level. Let me also do this here. Give me a moment to uh, put the different template back up on my screen. There we go. Let's take a look at as soon as this populates. I probably not, should not have done that right during the middle of the uh, of, uh, show. But in any event, Stevie did it. Let's take a look at the Kansas City Southern out here. KSU is a ticker symbol. The railroads are on their way. Top side, it looks like. That is up uh, 7%, up $8 in change out here. Let's take a look at uh, Kansas City. Uh, KSU, Kansas City Southern, this thing here this morning. It's also trying to take out a, a resistance level out here, a little shooting star from September the 30th. The high of that is um, 120.22, volume only 1.4 million shares out there. So far, it's done 100. 41,000 shares in just the first uh, couple of minutes of trading. Let's take a look at um, Rand Gold. Let's go see what's going on inside Rand Gold. Up in a 6% here this morning. So you got G-O-L-D is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, one of the stronger looking uh, stock uh, equities out here, mining equities. Uh, you've got Rand Gold. Uh, this, is, this is beautiful. Of course, Stevie is long many gold equities out here. As I have been saying, gold is in the process of forming a significant major, significant major, major significant bottom. And uh, that's what we're seeing out here inside Rand Gold uh, right now, trying to take out a, a B point of an A to B equals CD to the upside. That would be the high from October the 9th. That's at 7039. Volume out there, 1.6 million shares. You've done 191 already today. So, uh, if we get the, if we no hope necessary, somebody says hope I'm right. No hope necessary. Uh, just we got to pay attention to what the big money is doing and what the uh, market is uh, doing out here. And uh, if we do take a look at uh, again, Rand Gold looks like it's forming an A to B equals CD to the upside out here. If we take a look at that, your A point is going to be the bottom of that key reversal session. Your B point, again, it's just the small one, but what's the only one that's actually out here? C point was uh, Friday's uh, low. So one to one says uh, 71.95 is uh, on the uh, is on call out here. I think what we're really going to see is a total change in trend inside these uh, mining equities as they take off to the upside. Uh, 71.95, 73.57. We'll take things one moment at a time, one day at a time out here so uh getting above that uh, price level from october 9th that will be
7039 is the uh, number. So we'll see how that uh, ends the uh, day. That is on Rand Gold. Let's take a look at a couple of things here that are moving to the uh, downside. So let's see what we've got. We've got Lithia Motors, LAD. Uh, is the uh, ticker symbol down 18 percent out with numbers looks like their third quarter was below guidance out here um, um the numbers don't pop up right there on my screen but let's go take a look at lithia motors here gapping down this morning taking out a uh, swing point looks like with volume yeah 600,000 shares was the uh, b point of an a to b equals cd to downside that was october the first you've gapped down already this morning with 376,000 shares Let's pull this back, see where this is likely headed to. So this has been making A to B equals CD down patterns here for quite some time, ever since the high. The first A to B equals CD pattern that it actually formed and completed uh, was back on August 22nd. That was after making a high on July 23rd out here. So you've got another. Let's uh, see where the volume bar is out here. So this thing had... It's trading almost, almost to that level. So Lithium Motors, we'll find out. LAD is a ticker symbol. This thing broke out back on um, February 19th, 2014. Now there were, mm, it's coming back there with too much volume. That had 997,000 shares, and you've already done 381. So that's not a good scene. So Lithium Motors ought to get back all the way down to the swing point low, make a 100% move of a move. That's getting back to the February 3rd, 2014 level out there so it looks like about 53 57 or so is where that equity is headed to let's take a look at the shutterfly sfly uh, they are in the photo business out here now from a seasonal standpoint their season starts to uh, really pick up um thanksgiving but should start to pick up right around now. Now, this has moved back into a, a sign of strength out here. Pretty decent sign of strength, I should say. July uh, 2nd, July 2nd, this move topside was 6.4 million shares. So far this morning, though, 500,000 shares to the downside. Let me see, was there some news here inside of uh, Shutterfly? Hmm. No, I don't see any news. I don't think anything that's hitting my news feed out here. So let's try to figure out where Shutterfly is headed to. Give me a moment here. Got a, maybe just a little bit too much clutter on my uh, screen. So let me get rid of the navigator out there. Okay, good. Okay. Just for the uh, moment. So if we take a look at Shutterfly, uh, if I put it just a horizontal line across my screen here, here's their sign of strength. This is really the uh, level. So when you take a look at a sign of strength, what I like to do is come back into, you know, a swing point uh, that just maybe is before that level. In this case here was July 1st. I'm just coming back into a low volume session here from June 24th, and that low is at 41.83. Um, if that level fails, then this little hammer candle down here from May 16th inside Shutterfly is where price will likely head to, 36.30 to 37.83 out there. And that would likely be the uh, that would likely be at least the next move inside of uh, Shutterfly. Let's take a look at uh, Netflix. You got Netflix off about one uh, percent, down five dollars and fifty-eight cents. Netflix here is uh, holding up okay. If it uh, takes out the uh, B point with volume, that is the trading session from. September 22nd, 438.88 is the price number, 2.3 million shares to the downside. Then you would likely see Shutter, uh, Shutterfly. You'd likely see Netflix move down to about 406.78 to 393 or so. We've got um, Asbury Motive Group, ABG, is the uh, ticker symbol. That's off uh, three and a half percent. That's off five percent this morning, down three dollars and thirty cents. Let's go see what this is uh, trying to do. This is taking on a swing point to the downside. That would set up a fairly large A to B equals C D, and that is a swing point from October first. The low there is sixty three oh four. The volume on that session was three hundred eighty five thousand shares. You've done three eighty seven, so it's testing that with volume. Let's take a look and see if this thing here does make. Uh, if it does get below that price, so we've got the volume today. Then you've got an A to B equals. CD to the downside that ought to take it to well, your A point's going to be your high from September 4th, your B point down here on October the 1st, your C point gets you up to the October 6th level. One to one would take you down to about $60.18. Uh, and uh, that would take you, in essence, into the uh, swing point back here from June 13th. That's got some fairly decent uh, volume. It actually broke out on June 16th out here. But it looks like that is probably where uh, ticker symbol APG Asbury Automotive Group is uh, likely headed to if it breaks if it breaks through that area then it'll come all the way back into this uh, sign of strength that took place on April 23rd 2014 that had 720,000 shares to the upside yeah it's coming back with too much volume here today so that may be the more likely target 
which is somewhere around 5940, maybe down to the uh, 5529 area. ABG, as in uh, good looking, except the stock is not that good looking as we speak right now. Um, that is where she is likely headed to. Uh, let's take a look at Penske Automotive Group, a couple of auto stocks out here. So you got PAG is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, Penske Automotive Group trading out now at $39.10. There's some volume behind its move out here. It's taking out a uh, B point. That was from uh, October the uh, 1st out here. That had volume down there of 669. You've already done 100. Well, you've done 134,000 shares today. Let's pull Roger Penske, Penske Automotive Group, back here, try to figure out where this thing is uh, headed to. So Penske Automotive Group, well, take a look at this A to B equals C to the downside. I'm looking at a swing of August the 1st. This one, I see if it was taken out with volume. That had 386, and it was taken out with, uh, yeah, four, uh, 431,000. So that A to B equals C D. Uh, it's certainly done an extension of that. Let's see what kind of extension it has uh, done here as we take a look at Penske Auto Group. See if this is completing any pattern. You know, at the uh, one to two level is 3838 out here. So Penske Automotive Group uh, may, in fact, start to find some support. It's really going to be dependent upon the volume here today. Uh, right inside that level also happens to be the uh, October 29, 2013 area. Um, no real volume. There's nothing else that really sticks out on this uh, stock chart from a volume. So I'm just looking at that swing point. And if it breaks through, 3707 Penske. Let's uh, pull this back. Let's put this on a weekly time frame. See if there's anything that we've got out here that sticks out like a, a sore thumb. Where'd that come from, anyways? Uh, probably just a hammer, a hammering a joke out there. Um, sticks out like a sore thumb. I don't know. Well, I've had a sore thumb. I don't know that it really sticks out. Maybe somebody in the den they can they can help me out there. Um, Penske Automotive Group. You know, all I really see here is uh, if it if it fails at, at around this level here then price probably pulls back into the um into the July 29th low week of which is right around 3428 out there of course somebody says hey if it's uh if it's swollen then it would stick out like a sore thumb out there and I suppose that is correct. Uh, so what else we want to take a look at out here? We've been through a number of the stocks that are popping and uh, dropping out here. Uh, let's go take a look at, we looked at the currencies. I think, shoot, I think it's over. Actually, it can't be over. I've got an hour and uh, 12, 15 minutes or so to do. Let's take a look at this. Let's go take a look at this kind of an interesting uh, chart that I was working on uh, earlier this morning just to try to maybe keep some things in perspective out here. And I can't take a look at Microsoft. But if we take a look at um, this kind of, I'm going to open this up here. Uh, this stock chart, the one on the uh, left. The upper panel is the S&P 500. The middle panel is the uh, Dow, and the uh, lower panel is the uh, is the Nasdaq Composite. So we got green, red, and uh, white. Uh, the three different uh, panels out here. And what uh, what's really interesting, just kind of to keep in comparison, where the market is uh, at out here. And we can see the S&P has made 100% move of a move by getting all the way back into that August uh, swing point, August the seventh uh, out here. The case of the Dow, the Dow is actually stronger than the S&P and stronger than the NASDAQ composite. I say that and just simply use it as a comparison, that August 7th swing point out here. In the case of the Dow, it's only made a retracement, has not made a 100% move of a move. If we take a look at the uh, NASDAQ composite, well, it's broken through that uh, swing point out there. And uh, so the Dow is actually stronger of the, uh, of the three uh, indexes that we would take a look at. Here, real quickly, if you're watching us on Tiger TV, you can see the New York Stock Exchange, the Russell 2000, and the semiconductors, which got just absolutely hammered on the Friday. This is Steve Rhodes. This is TFNN. take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Dow's off 20, S&P down 6, composite off uh, 23. Let's go out to uh, Paramus, New Jersey, to uh, Victor. Victor, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. You wanted to take a look at AT&T. Tell me what you're doing, how I can help you. Oh, i just been looking at the dividend play. I, I have that stock I, I was going to buy. I'm glad I waited. And I, I own Hawaiian Electric. I'm thinking about dumping it. That pays like oh. a 6% dividend. Okay. So both of those, if you can check them out. I want to buy AT and T because I can't. I don't understand how Nike can come out with good sales globally. You know what I mean? They finagle their, they cook their books all the time. So why wouldn't AT and T be able to cook their books and come out with good earnings too? 
Well, they just need a better cut, paste, and assembler out there, or they need to get uh, you know better audit firm out there. But let's take a look at what the uh, what the real fundamentals of the uh, stock chart are uh, telling you out here. And so, if you're looking to buy AT and T today, for example, what you want to uh, focus on when it did it did have a nice pop up here. Uh, by the way, on the trading session, uh, you probably know that on July 29th, some pretty good volume out there, 92 oh, million it shares. It just paid out its dividend last Thursday, so I don't know. You know what did I mean? It? Okay. Uh, okay. At this stage right now, what you're watching for, Victor, is the uh, August 7th swing point and the low there, which is uh, 34.17. You're below that this morning. Uh, that had 20 million shares. You've done 3 million shares in 25 minutes of trading out here. So the volume is just a bit too high. And that actually could set up an A to B equal C to the downside. So mm -hmm. at, this day, at this stage of the game right now, this morning, that's, what you, that's the information that we've got. Let me see if I can actually punch that in. I don't know why I'm having any trouble here, but uh, gosh darn it. Well, your A point on this is going to be the high. I'll just have to do it manually. 37.48. Your low is uh, 34. So you got, what, uh, a $3 plus. Oh, now it's actually starting to work. Okay, let me delete this here. Better to do that. So you got about 3 by Well, it's going to say 350 or so below the August 7th low of 34 bucks. So you're looking in the 31-ish uh, type range oh, out yeah. here. Uh, you know, this may pull all the way back into the uh, March 4th uh, swing point. So it looks to me like in the case of AT&T that that's the area that you want to uh, focus on and wait for. Good. All right. Uh, what about that HE? That's a high dividend paying utility stock. HE. So let's go take a look at this. HE, uh, -E, that is, you say, Hawaiian Electric out there? Yeah. Okay. If we take a look at HE. -E. Uh, -E. I'm sorry? No, H-E, the letter H and the letter E, H-E. Yeah, 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 okay. I've got that uh, trying to punch up on my screen here. I don't know why it's not uh, pulling up, uh, obviously. Oh, there we go. Well, now, this is much stronger looking than AT&T. So you're looking at dumping this and buying AT&T? Well, I'm going to hold it because, I, I don't know, whenever they say they're going to raise interest rates, they always beat up the utilities, but I don't know. It seems to be doing pretty good. This is doing very well. Um, in fact, uh, this thing here, let me see, September 5th as a uh, swing point that was crossed. That had 789,000 shares and it was crossed 1.3. This, uh, Victor, actually has a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. So uh, this says that this uh, the A point on this is going to be the uh, low from August the 4th. Your B point is going to be the high that came in on September the 5th and your C point down here right around September 15th. Hawaiian Electric ought to run for you up to 2801, maybe 2885 before it really uh, gives up. I don't see anything bearish about this. Uh, if you're looking to dump it, just use some kind of trailing stop on it. Yeah, what they say, and then once it hits there, I'll do a Fibonacci retracement. Like, that's normal breathing of the market. It should go back down. Um, it, it, it should do, let me just see what a weekly chart, see if this thing is trying to target anything here. Yeah, because um, the point figure charts has, uh, like, yeah, uh, you know, at at the July 16th high, the price point of 29.24, it makes a 100% move of move, gets all the way back to July of 2012. That's probably where it starts to lose energy. But if it's got more than 1.8 million shares as it's coming in there, then then it's a whole different picture. Uh, Alrighty, okay. you bet, you bet. Bye. Bye. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. The Money Masters show is up next, and I'll go take a look at the Microsoft for Mike K in the Den during that show. Take care, folks. We'll be right back. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long Long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today.
You're watching Tiger TV.